welcome back to another video of mine. Um, the setup's a little different because my mother-in-law is in town, so I'm just trying to film this really quick so I can have it up for you by tomorrow. If my neck isn't blended out, I'm so sorry. I ran out of I ran out of foundation, so I'm struggling a little bit. But obviously, you can tell by the title, this is a redone haul, and guys, this is huge. This is pretty big. Honestly, I need to stop. Um, also, it's birdhouse season, so I have a lot of birdhouses to share with you. I'm surprised that I got this many, because I remember last year I couldn't find any, but I think that's just kind of how the, the stores are right now. So, we're just going to jump in, because I don't have much time to share this with you. So, we're just going to get right into the haul. If you are interested in seeing what I got this week, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so how I'm going to do this is I'm going to start with like miscellaneous objects and then I like to kind of group things by like canisters, birdhouses, mugs. So I'm just kind of going through what I have, just like one of each kind of thing. And then I'll get into like the clumps of things that I got. So the first thing that I got is the fresh and yum little baskets. I have the berries one and I really, really like these. Honestly, guys, I love all of them. They just came out the strawberry and blueberry ones that say like organic and I think fresh on the side of them. Those are cute, but I do love the long letter and I like this. And I think this would be really cute with like the berries to display like summertime. Um, Cause I just think that like picnic, I'm getting like picnic vibes and to me picnics are like a summertime thing so I kind of want to do something with that um so I got this this was $19.99 for the two of them which I think was too bad of a deal and I just love them so I got that the next thing that I got I was not on my eyes so but I figured I'd get them anyways and they are the black measuring cups I am honestly like kind of on the hunt now for all of the colors so I can do like a rainbow they just need to come out with orange and purple, and I think I will be good. Um, so I got the black ones, and plus these would be kind of cute for Halloween display as well. So I saw these, and even though it wasn't on my ISO, I could not pass it up. So I got this. The next thing that I have to share with you is the pink hip-hop soup bowl with the handle. This thing, guys, I'm in love with the colors. We've already established this menti of times on this channel. I guess I did say menti. Um, uh, I had a friend get this for me. I think this is precious. I think, oh my gosh, I love the pink. I just need the pink measuring cups and the pink baby loaf pan. They have not hit any of my stores here in Vegas and I'm dying for them. Like legit inside slowly dying for them no no joke so anyways got this small tangent but yeah got that the next thing i have to share with you yes this is a mercari mercari purchase but i feel like i got a decent price and honestly i don't regret it at all and it is the baby chocolate chips canister this thing is so stinking cute um, I just absolutely love baby canisters and I didn't realize how much cuter this was in person. So when I got this, I wasn't even mad that I spent over retail on it. It is cute. If you are wanting this and you haven't, you know, found the, the guts to just make the Mercari purchase, just do it. You will not regret it. I mean, your bank account might be a little sad, but it's totally worth it. I promise. And the last and final like miscellaneous item is another blanket, which is the Happy Spring blanket. Um, I did get the purple bunny love, but to me, that is just Easter. So I need something for spring, and I'm just trying to justify purchasing this. But I actually really, really like the yellow. I like how bright it is, so it's just going to be really warm and welcoming for the summer months. So... I'm really excited about this. I think it's really pretty and I do not regret purchasing this either. I lied. One more miscellaneous purchase and it is the Bloom Vase. Now I know some of you guys do not like it, but honestly, I'm thinking of like a cityscape with this, with birdhouses. I'm not going to use it for a vase because I think that's kind of corny, but I think it'd be really cute to kind of like do a, like a cityscape with some birdhouses next to it. Am I wrong? I don't think so. I think that'd be kind of cute, even though it does say bloom, so it's kind of be going to be a little weird. But um, again, my obsession with the colors, the fact that it's pink, I love it. And one of the local girls was selling this for like five bucks more than retail, and 
I just had to get it from her. So I got this. Okay, so the next purchase that I have, I made a huge order from one seller from Mercari and the seller was amazing. I feel like I didn't spend any more than I would have with my local group. The um, the rules that I have in my local group is you can sell retail plus $5. And that's basically what I did with these items and I knew I wasn't gonna get them in my stores. So I just went ahead bit the bullet again I feel like I wouldn't have spent any different than getting it from a local um, and then obviously I just paid like 10 bucks shipping so I feel like I got a really great deal I got like eight items for 50 bucks and to me that was a steal so I got a couple of plates and I got a couple of mugs so I'm gonna start off with the plates and the first one that I got is the egg hunt um, plate this one's kind of unfortunate, but I still really wanted the color, and I got the blue egg hunt, but I think I'm getting a blue bunny love, but I still have to wait for that friend to message me. I'm not too sure about that one. The next one that I got was the yellow happy spring, and then the last one that I got is the pink hippity hop egg plate. So, uh, my friend here, Dawn, on YouTube, um, she, I think she posted a video, like a Ray Dawn haul, um, two, three weeks ago, and she had all of the colored plates, and I was like, I need all of the colored plates. So I found a Mercari seller that was selling all of them in a bundle, um, so I was really excited. It does suck that I got two egg hunts, but I'm not too mad because I really just wanted the colors, to be 100% honest. So... I can't be too picky and again I didn't spend too much over retail so I think this was a win-win okay and then I, d I ended up I got three mugs I wanted to get four but she didn't have the last fourth that I wanted but I still I still think that seven items for like the $54 that I spent wasn't too bad so the first mug that I got was the green good egg bad egg mug I swear this didn't even hit my Marshalls or GI I think this is a TJ sticker didn't hit my stores at all, at least from what I know. Um, so just got it from Mercari. Last place resort. Not mad about it, but I'm glad to have another um, green mug because this is the only one I have besides my um, blue or no, the green bunny kisses mug. So I wanted to get another one. So I'm glad to have gotten this. And then from the same bundle, I got the blue happy spring, which was a major ISO because I love the blue guys. I love it. And the last mug that I got from there was the Pink Happy Easter, which these were like, those three mugs were like my ultimates, like I'm not a huge fan of the white ones anymore because they came, they came out with so many pretty like pastels and colored mugs that like I just need them instead of the white. So even though like I think I hauled a white with yellow interior Happy Spring mug, I might return that one because I got the blue and... I love the color so much more than the white colored interior. That's just my opinion though. Okay, so I got a couple more mugs that weren't a part of that Mercari order. And the first one is the Pink Henny Bunny, which I'm super happy to got this. I have a white one from last year, but I again, I just said I'd rather have the colored. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that one yet. Um, I don't know. Depends on if I have a tag or not. I might try and return it, but... Got this guy, and I have about a million of these ones, but I had to get the pink peep peep even though I already have it. Uh, I just, I had to get the colored one. I think I have the yellow one. I have a white with blue interior and a white with pink interior. And you might think that's excessive, and I also think that's excessive, but it's a problem. <laughs> I'm aware of it. So, got this one. And then I'm pretty sure I hauled this same mug, white, with blue interior, but of course I found colored ones, so I'm gonna replace it with the blue hop to it. Uh, it's so pretty, guys. So got this, and I have one more mug to show you. So I think this is a new release. It just came out this week, and it is the Hello Pretty mug. I think this is so cute. It's just like gonna be a basic. I honestly think I might just put it on my vanity, um, just because I think it's really cute. It kind of goes with the whole beauty thing. So um, I thought this was a cute mug, and I just love it. So I'm. Glad she got this. And now, guys, for the grand finale, we got seven birdhouses. I have seven birdhouses to share with you guys. 
This is freaking crazy. Um, so let, I don't know which ones I want to start, start, start with first. Actually, I'll start with these ones. So I got the square knock and the square perch. These are both at Marshalls. They're both very dimply and pretty. Um, these are not ones that I have, so I needed to get them, of course. And then I was able to get a couple of our houses from online, which I'm really thankful for. So the first one that I got is the gray fly. Um, when I first saw this online, I did have the opportunity to get it, but it wasn't 100% sold on the color. Um, but then I saw somebody get it in one of the national groups and posted a picture with like a wood bead garland and I loved it. So the second time around on like the TJ website, I was able to get my hands on this. So I did get this. I do not see any imperfections on it. So thankfully we're good to go on this one. The next birdhouse that I was able to get online is the Blue Welcome. I love this birdhouse so much so much this is such a pretty pretty blue um thankfully there isn't too much um like defects it is a little worn like around the hole but to me at a distance you can't really tell i don't even know if you can tell on camera so i honestly do not care um again love this birdhouse this is probably one of my favorites i just love the blue can't say that enough in any in every one of my videos i just have to say that that i love the blue um but yeah I love this birdhouse. I was happy to have gotten it and it be in decent condition. The next one, I actually had a friend. She she got it from online and she offered me one. And it is the Tweet Birdhouse. Um, the quality on the tweets really aren't that great, to be 100% honest. This one isn't too bad, so I'm not too mad about that. It's a little faded around like the little windows. It does have a couple of black specks, but honestly, you can't really tell, especially at a distance. You can't tell at all, so I'm not going to be too picky. If you can't see it in a picture from like five feet away, it's not going to bug me. So um, I'm really happy to have gotten this. I just love all of the colors and I wanted to collect that, so I was happy to get this. And then last week, I actually found the yellow Blessed Bird House in a store at Home Goods, and this one is also not too bad. I mean, it does have a little bit of like paint, but again, I'm not. I'm not a picky person when it comes to done unless it's like completely smeared. That's a, like a no-go for me. But like if it has like a couple of like worn down spots or like a couple of specs, I'm not one to complain about it. Um, so I found this. There was only one on the tank, which I found really interesting. But yes, I got this. And um, I do have to say though, the colors are completely different. So... This one's more of a deeper yellow. This one's more of a pastel yellow. You can definitely tell on a camera. So they are a little bit of different um, in color. So I have to be sure to not like display them against one another. Otherwise you're definitely gonna tell, which is gonna be an issue, but I don't really care. Um, again, just really happy to have some color birdhouses. And the last and final birdhouse that I found I was in complete shock. I went to a store after work on Wednesday at three o'clock. I walked in and it was sitting right there. And you guys, it was the plaid birdhouse. I genuinely thought that I would not find this birdhouse in store, let alone at three o'clock in the afternoon. I am so, so excited that I found this. Um, I actually posted this on my Instagram story and a ton of you guys were messaging me about it. Um, this oh my gosh I love this birdhouse uh last year I wasn't a huge fan but of course like my style has changed a lot and this was like a major ISO for me so I'm so so excited that I was able to find this again I'm still kind of like in shock that I was able to find it like on a random Wednesday at 3 p.m I I don't get it but yeah so so happy about this I actually found another one a couple days later and I shared that with one of my friends that always helps me out so I'm so happy to have helped somebody that's always helping me. I do want to tell you, because I noticed this about my stores. So that Wednesday, a friend of mine found one at one of my stores. It was just one. Then I found one that same day at a different store. And from my understanding, another one of my friends found one at another store. I live in Vegas, so there's like 12 stores in the city. <sighs> Two days later, 
there was more of these birdhouses out. So I don't know if that is something that the stores were advised to do to just put out one on one day and then put out two or the other one on a separate day. But that is the trend that I'm seeing here in Vegas. So if you are on the hunt for this and one person has found it in your city, still go to that store the next day or the following day and they should have more. That's what I'm seeing as a trend in my city. So I just kind of wanted to relay that message to kind of help you guys find this because I know this is like the number one um, birdhouse that people are looking for this season. So I just kind of want to share that information that I've noticed to kind of help you guys out. Okay guys, and that is everything that I have to share with you. It was a lot, a lot of birdhouses, but I am so thankful for everything that I was able to get from the sellers that I got from Mercari. Everybody was wonderful. So if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post a lot of redone hauls, decorate with me's, clean with me's, pretty much a lifestyle channel in general. So I would love for you to be a part of my YouTube family. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.